in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall listen you have to conquer the spirit let the rain smallness. begin to fall not in a competitive way let we already spoke about the law of surrender but small you things welcome to another spirit field message on Christ you do a business you are just thinking of your family members very subsistent living he and says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed because we believe that as this god is giving you a vision to have a bank and you are saying no no it's not for us oh dear if your mind defeats you you are defeated completely completely the miracle of a transformed mind is a real miracle you have to be convinced that God is able. I can do all things. It's a superior thinking. Fathers like Bishop David Oyedipko will call it a far above mentality. I've been exalted. Don't let people bully you. We live in a society where people can intimidate you. They look at your shoe and say your shoe is cheap, your dress is cheap, and they make you feel stupid for going through the law of process. Find strength. Your mind is ahead of your body already. Someday, when your body now wears what your mind is wearing, you will see the difference. Do not be ashamed of your journey tomorrow. Don't try to fake anything with honor see success is not what you pursue success is what you attract by who you are becoming more than what you do you attract success by growth sustainable success is attracted by growth not just by doing things when you have grown almost anything can prosper in your hand are you blessed the law of mental transformation when I learned this, I became a student of transformation till the day I see his face. I have gathered materials. I continue to invest in my mind because I don't want to be limited. There is a generation that is depending on your transformation. You cannot afford to be small. All these, all these childish things we do around, you just find someone's car, you go and lie down on it, they will arrest you one day. That's not how to grow hello please don't feel bad but that's not how to grow faith is not foolishness many things that we do in the name of faith that's not faith why fake something that can be real listen i will always give this analogy can you imagine someone who is trying to steal a piece of meat in a pot and just when he's stealing it they cut him and say it was your own the meal was prepared for you now imagine how stupid you will feel stealing what is your own the bible says all things are yours why fake it is your inheritance is your destiny already this is not mere motivation it's true he that cometh from above is above all the Bible says to set your mind and your heart on the things above and not things of the earth. There are things I believe about God. There are things I believe about life. You carry a failure mentality, no matter what kind of prayer is prayed on you, you will fail. I assure you, you will fail. And you will feed your mind back and say, I knew it and you were right. <laughs> Listen to me. I know that there are many people here who aspire to do great things for the kingdom god is not against your greatness he says i will increase your greatness and comfort you round about god is about making us great but listen to me the key is not running around trying to do things settle down and build your mind apostle i don't have capital all i know is god will give me money leave the issue of money the problem is not money the problem is to search for knowledge listen when you start growing in your mind there are some clothes you are wearing that must run away from you because that mindset will drive them away it's not about pride or humility whether you like it or not 
your there are names in your contact that will start going away when your mind is growing and others will start coming because the level of your transition does not allow to still have those physical conditions if our father in the lord baba deboye comes to stand here now and tells you ah something happened and my car spoiled some of you who would never give your relatives money for anything immediately right now with one phone call there will be cars lined up as if this is a car stand why because his level of transformation does not allow him to beg at that level again he has not this is a law where is the first phone you bought you can't even remember and you can't remember giving it out your mindset as it was transformed it became incorrect to still hold that kind of phone now i'm not saying holding an expensive phone is necessarily a proof of transformation just as an analogy have you seen someone who sits in a business class you know he's not supposed to be there everything around his life says you are not yet here you are sitting in a business class your shoe is betraying you your you don't know anybody there you don't have relationships that support that level of result it's a physical reality you have not yet arrived in you are holding a rubber ring life will push you back to where your mindset really makes you but when you grow ah, i wish i were not the one teaching this but it is true listen from that one room you can start growing your you are learning what is the mentality of great people what does it take to have a great ministry what is the mentality of uncommon leaders not what is their results don't go around admiring people's results and laying on your hands and just claiming claim their mindset you don't need to forget about the result if the mindset is yours the signs that follow that mindset will come listen there are some of you the mindset you have you will never be able to cross one million in your account even if they give you 10 million nine million would disappear mysteriously through carelessness through whatever and reduce you back to that realm because that is the realm your mind can take believe me every ministry expands to reflect the mindset of the leaders there every business expands to reflect the mindset of the leaders every home expands to reflect the mindset of the parents every nation expands to reflect the mindset of their leaders singapore was turned from a third world nation to a first world nation not because something came from heaven and landed there superior ideas dubai was turned into a heaven yes they've not given their life to christ in as much as we know but they are living on heaven in heaven now as far as paradise is concerned on earth someone can sit down and see a whole sea and yet in it he's seen something else ah, may god give us the miracle of superior belief systems in the name of jesus christ three keys to transit in mentally number one exposure exposure is a powerful blessing exposure is a double-edged sword it can kill and it can make there is a kind of exposure that will sorry to use that word it will rape your mindset you can be exposed wrongly and from that day you will never be patient towards life again but there is a correct exposure what is exposure broadening your horizon opening you up to the possibilities that exist beyond your frame of reference exposure until you watch a miracle if you watch somebody rise from a wheelchair in front of you you will not doubt it again sometimes god lifts us by taking us to places even though we are not really ready for it he keeps you there and you don't know what is happening to you till you leave that place you will be angry with where you are going back to that's a miracle and you make up your mind that in the name of jesus i won't be at this level again jesus was born in nazareth but he refused to allow nazareth live in him at age 12 when his contemporary teenagers were running up and down he was investing in his mind even though he was the son of god as a result 
in three years he took the world and said I'm done and levitated with honor back to heaven Africa we must wake up the problem is not lack of mineral resources the problem is not only leadership leadership is there but more than leadership we are victims of our thinking the many years of servitude has done something to us the color of your skin does not have an effect on your mind your background and where you come from does not have an effect on your mind there are no second class citizens on earth except you make for yourself he that cometh from above the moment you receive Jesus you are born into a superior class of living this is a fact please make up your mind that you will not be small again make up your mind that you will not be small that what my father did not give me my children will eat it where I could not go you can't transfer the same mediocrity to your children it's okay that okay those who came before you could not go that far don't keep giving flimsy excuses while life is passing you and it does not come by hustling hustling is a demonic strategy work circumspectly as wise hustling is why people don't give God the glory the Bible says, except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. He said the watchmen watch it but in vain. It is vain to wake up early in the morning, to sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow, but he gives his beloved sleep. We have systems of advantage in this kingdom. We are not left alone. The favor of God is there. The capacity to restore is there. The gift of man, there. The ministry of the Holy Spirit showing you what to do part time. Shout, I cannot fail. Please say it, I cannot fail. I reject failure. Now, if you confess like that and don't contend for transformation, you will soon be angry with what you are saying because it will remain empty talk for a very long time. There are people who have done it for many years. Oh, I will not fail, yet they keep going down confession is powerful but it's not the only key to the success equation content for transformation more than the clothes you buy invest in your mind buy materials superior materials technology has made it very easy for transformation with data of next to nothing you can settle down and watch videos and materials that that are consistent with scripture that edify you get all my teachings on them on mindsets they are free get them go online search for them they are free let the Holy Spirit do a work you have to understand how the mind thinks I'm sorry to say it but secular education school does not teach people how to think no achievement is a science there are exact equations that produce achievement results you must sustain the ability to replenish and here's where it lies so you don't fear your success i submit to you in the name of jesus christ that the results that we see and we rejoice with it is ultimately god's doing but he's given keys there is no fear in this result because it will remain so it did not come by magic it did not come by mistake it can be replicated anywhere in the world and it is true you only fear when your result came by luck when it comes by knowledge knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom you can find rest listen like Abraham he says from where thou art lift up your eyes I'm speaking to someone by the Spirit from where you are not where you want to be from where you are you can make up your mind dr miles munro my eternally revered mentor changed my life radically was one of the first people the lord began to use to change my belief system i love him even in death bless his soul i heard his story how that he grew up in a family of how many people and they would look from their room and they could see the stars that was the level of the poverty 
and he made up his mind that things would not be this way but empty talk does not lead to results he began to contend for transformation by the truth more than clothes by the truth are we together Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 verse 8 Philippians 4 verse 8 finally brethren finally koinonia whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just please look up whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things i never go for a meeting wondering will the power of god move will the sick be healed no 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 i have a mentality i never go alone i never go alone Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thou art with me. Divine presence is a secret. I know that his power, his divine power. I never come for a meeting wondering will people be blessed. We're talking the power of the Holy Ghost here. And the Lord walking with them, confirming the words with signs following. There will never be a week where there is no testimony here. It's impossible. God must bear witness. Oh, 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 I know who I am. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. It's not a Pentecostal song. It is truth from scripture. The Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Knowing who you are is not being aggressive and insulting people around. No. That's insecurity. There is a settled confidence. I'm walking in power walking in miracles I expect favor every day every day honestly I really do I expect favor please sit down we have to rush so you must trust God for grace write two scriptures down you can read them when you get home very quickly genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 7 the key verse is verse 5 genesis chapter 11 11 i meant to say genesis 11. just write it and then you go and study at home but this was the story of nimrod kush building that tower whose top will reach the heavens the Bible says, verse 4, since you've projected it, let's just look at 4 and 5 quickly. The Bible says, Nimrod, he began to market this idea. It started with an idea. Let us build a city whose top may reach the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered on earth. Look what happened in the realm of the spirit. Verse 5, while Nimrod was busy working on their minds, the Bible says, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men have finished building. Once their mindset received it, God saw a building rising in the spirit. And he came to say, what is happening? They've not started building on the ground. 
but their mindset was receiving it everything in life is built twice it is first built in your mind then it is built physically whatever is built physically and not built in your mind you will lose it but destroy anything physical if it's built in your mind the law says it must be rebuilt it's why wealthy people may go down they may have a season of some catastrophic events financially and otherwise and you see them smiling you are even crying for them and yet they are smiling they who are the victims because they know that they not only sustain the ability to be fruitful they have the ability to replenish you will only fear your results when you do not know the laws that produce it watch this I will always like to use people who cook imagine with me for a moment that you were to go and serve guests and while you were preparing the meal something happened and then everything just poured completely on the floor and then they give you two more hours or three more hours you will not be afraid again because you can still go back to the kitchen once the ingredients are there and you are the one who truly cooked it's trouble if you just bought it somewhere and the place is closed then you are in trouble but if you were the one who prepared it you can go back with confidence and even use the anger to make a better version of that thing and say what i forgot to add yesterday as i'm coming back now i'm adding it there law number three are you getting blessed the third mystery in this kingdom that has been responsible for the uncommon extraordinary results of the saints is called the law of mastery and competence the law of mastery the law of competence write it down please Proverbs 18 and verse 16. A man's gift maketh room for him, and the Bible leaves an assurance that the gift, like an usher, can bring him before great men. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men listen to me it is powerful to be valuable you know what it means to be valuable to be valuable means that you sustain the ability to provide solutions that are needed and useful as far as the context of a civilization is concerned listen carefully not just the ability to provide solutions the solutions must be needed and they must be useful with respect to that civilization you are considered valuable to the degree to which your life and your skills provide solutions as a man of God I'm providing a solution the solution may be spiritual in context but it is still a solution number one I'm connecting you to faith number two I'm using the agency of the Word of God as a reference to transform your thinking your thinking now being transformed will change your life I'm standing in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide supernatural solutions healings miracles signs and wonders that is value many believers are just waiting for some magic to happen as far as their relevance is concerned let me tell you this men will only come to your light not to you if you are not carrying anything of value nobody will look for you gentiles don't come to you they come to your light let me tell you why you are alone you are alone because there is nothing notable coming out of you that is commanding the attention of men value is powerful You must have something to offer listen the table of greatness was so designed that you don't just go there and shift a chair and sit down the condition to join the great to sit on that table is that you first provide your value 
then that value is vetted there is a threshold level of competence you must attain in order to be granted a seat with the great being valuable as powerful as it is is not enough the highest position in every organization is for masters competence is a promoter it can lift you beyond your background it can lift you beyond your limitations there's a kind of music called music of the masters many of you have listened to it those guys have mastered the art of not failing when they sit down and they are playing they have come to a point where they are one with what they are doing they are not hoping they are right oh you must trust god to be a master at something nobody will come and indefinitely be loyal to you for nothing no when you study leadership there is a dimension of leadership that comes by results people want to see results they love you but they love themselves too they want to see genuine replicable consistent results if you're a man of God you must make up your mind that I will be competent I will be competent in ministry word delivery excellent prayer life excellent ethics of ministry administration and managerial intelligence excellent refuse to be small value is powerful when I learned this I began to rejoice I found my way out of mediocrity I found my way out of jealousy I found my way out of competition mastery lifts you to such a pedestal in life you are so distinguished it will look like life is flattering you but it's true let me tell you this I learned this and for the purpose of this discussion tonight I want you to write it down that the kingdom of God operates based on a reward system the kingdom of God operates based on a reward system and there is an auxiliary law that is tied to the law of competence the law of value the law of mastery I want to quote it for you so that you have it down and I pray that it will contribute to your lifting and your rising are you ready that the rewards that we have in life the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things number one the need or the demand for what you do your rewards our rewards in life is directly proportional to number one the need or the demand for what we do number two our ability or proficiency to do what we do this is where skill and excellence comes in your ability to do what you do and then number three the difficulty in replacing you I come again our rewards in life financial honor whatever kind of reward whether financial or psychic whatever kind of reward will always be in exact ratio in exact proportion to number one the demand or the need for what you do number two your ability to do what you do number three the difficulty in replacing you when there are easy replacements for you you will never go far in life this is not from a competitive standpoint but you must make up your mind to be exceptional it is true that no man is indispensable but make it difficult to find an alternative to you and the company will retain you begging i assure you as much as they are downsizing people in this nation there are people who will not spend one month without a job they are too competent for that kind of condition they literally are the brains behind many corporations many years ago I used to know a gentleman he was working three jobs and he was only working three or four times a week he used to live in Kaduna State but he worked in Lagos and the company would fly him every week he was an IT consultant 
if he coughs i think they'll buy him a, a pharmacy not a drug listen you must be so valuable and you must be so competent there is a measure of honor that only comes to masters i made up my mind and you've heard me say it i don't have an ambition to learn and know everything and to be exceptional in everything but in the areas where god has called me i made a covenant with myself and my life that i will stretch myself to a point of uncanny mastery in ministry in leadership every grace that is available for signs and wonders i will contend for it by light thank god for that which is given me but i will not rest and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you listen you're a music you're a, you're a worshiper you're a music artist don't just sing and be looking for those who know you to keep recycling you around a day will come they will be tired of you because there will be too many alternatives you must trust god for illumination you must trust god for mastery learn at the feet of masters rise to a point where your songs don't die you're a businessman don't say i'm doing business they are not patronizing me Oh, I'm a chef. Who can place a demand for you? Until you serve kings, you cannot receive the reward of kings. If koinonia only provides value to people who are outside of politics and governance and business, respectfully speaking, and with every sense of responsibility, then you will never be able to mentor kings and bless people. The truths that are being dished out from here must be such that all and sundry can be benefactors of it. Truths that are consistent with scripture, proven by the life of exceptional people, exceptionally com communicated, backed up by the power of the Holy Ghost, like fire into your spirit. You carry that truth and you can run with it. Competence. Make up your mind to be competent in the name of Jesus. You're a man of God. Make up your mind to be competent. One headache per year. You're not, you'll be ready for empty pews. Not in the times that we live in. You want to come and sing and you say, don't worry. Don't worry about the wordings. Or is it, is it the melody? Just focus on the wordings. Then recite a poem. Recite a poem. Are we together? Yes, I know that we all start gradually, but make up your mind. Can I tell you this? Don't come and stand in front of the stage when you are not prepared. You can relax with honor. Don't embarrass yourself. Relax with honor and train and train and make that mistake. The stage is not for training. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. Apostle, I'm tired of this level. Then rise through competence. I'm tired of this level. Rise to serve kings. I'm tired of this level as a man of God. The key is not to ask people to come to listen to you. The mere fact, listen, a mango tree does not call you. It just produces fruits. Big and juicy. A few months you pass the same tree as if you didn't see it. Now look at the skill you have to employ because of the, the, the gift on it. You use stones. You use a rod. You even climb it. The tree never said you should be that desperate for it. It only produced fruits. I tell you why people are ignoring you. There is nothing of there is nothing notable in your life. You don't come to a tree that is not producing anything. Ask Jesus, your Jesus. Jesus came to a tree that had green leaves and no fruit. He didn't just advise it and say next year, make sure that he cost it. That's what men will do when you attract men to your presence and you have nothing to offer. Before you ask men, come, make sure the table is ready. Let all things be ready before you call men for a feast. Don't call for a miracle service when you've not contended for the grace for healing. 
when they are not healed they will say i'm not healed don't call people to teach and then you are sharing things and sharing things and they go back and use the truth you're communicating and there's no results in their lives there is nobody who lives what works at the instance of results results are magnetic they can keep men there keep them in your company not by telling lies the greatest way to market is to tell the truth you have no fear when it is truth nothing to hide nothing to stage manage it is true if i tell you god will lift you believe me he will lift you if i tell you god is is shifting you it will happen because if he did not say it i don't have any business repeating you are only afraid if you speak on your own please make up your mind that you're going to be competent believe us let us not bring reproach to the name of jesus let us go back and do our homework in music in business in politics in leadership buy the truth and sell it not hallelujah every time i finish a meeting like this when i go back home sincerely speaking maybe just rest refresh a bit i'm getting straight to my work as i'm preaching here right now i have my own assignments and i have things i'm doing I return from a meeting straight to this place and when I'm done not even my tiredness is an excuse there is a generation that is depending on my competence there are people on wheelchairs right now who are depending on my contending for that power it is more than what you want don't prophesy nonsense everything you say is not correct don't say it's just God testing me go back and do your homework your name is John no I'm Israel you have two children no I have ten you are coming from Abuja, I'm coming from outside this country. Abba, that margin of error is too human. You can't blame God for it. I made up my mind that I will never stand before anybody in this life and be intimidated to a point of shame. I will be challenged. I will be provoked unto godliness but never that I stand before anyone I found out the difference between you and anyone is number one your level of enlightenment number two the relationships that come at that enlightened level number three the grace that is at work on your life that's what separates people anybody you ever admire this is what separates him from you can kings stand to applaud you can the great look at you and say i am impressed he behaves like us or can they show you the door and say go out there and never come back again joseph was prepared he knew he was ready to stand before pharaoh i'm sure when joseph was leaving the prison he looked at those who were there and said gentlemen i'm coming for you but no longer as a prisoner i know that when i meet the king it's impossible for the king to have this kind of competence before him and send me back to the prison and here's how he did it he said let the king search for a man it's a diplomatic way of saying i dare you search the entire egypt if you will find a man you've been here sweating for hours and they brought me out of prison don't trivialize my value search for the entire egypt if you will find a man who will interpret your dream listen at the instance of competence without consulting with kingmakers and elders he became the prime minister so there are times that competence can compress time and in a moment enthrone you someone can look at you and without an interview just a five minutes conversation he says come and be the nigerian representative of my company Come and be the African representative of my company. And you are like, it's a joke. Sorry, sir, are you joking? And he says, does it sound like I'm joking? You have what I'm looking for. Do you have what the world is looking for? Do you have what the world is looking for? There are consultants and specialists today that are being flown from US, 
being flown from UK, from India, to come and perform surgical procedures on certain people. Why? Because they are masters. There are authorities, global authorities in certain fields. Before you go so far, you have, they have to vet what you are writing. Is that true? No matter where you are, if you want to be initiated to this realm of greatness, you must pass through their tutelage. They look at what you are saying and say, no, adjust this, adjust that. May you be a master. The level of mastery that drives shame from your life. That you have a restaurant that will make people come and sit down there as though they were bound with a spell. What is it about your food? I found a secret. Africa, we love superstition. God is a miracle worker, but he's not a magician. It will take competence to attract honor. It will take competence to attract the goodwill of people. Nobody will clap for you indefinitely for doing nothing. Your assignment, go back to the drawing board. Your assignment, create a drawing board if you do not have one. Don't clap for yourself for too long. You've heard me say it here, that no one claps for you for the same thing twice. When they clap for you once, that's enough for that realm. If you don't do anything higher, nobody will applaud you for it again. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.